So I'm still with this AEG machine and I've removed one of the one of the um what are they called? I've removed one of the solenoid switches, that's uh one there, but there's this section here where it says TYACS4, that's it removed. So let's plug it in and turn it on. Is it on now? I think I think that's off. I just want to see if it'll run with that one removed because I thought that one didn't do anything. Um, yeah, the lights are still on. Now we need something pokey. Like my pencil. We're going to watch this motor spinning. Let's just see if it's free. Yeah. Okay, it seems to be going. Motor. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that one did. It's this one here. But um, let's turn it off again. Plug it out, and then I'll. That's that's what it looks like there. So I'll swap it for the other one. Solder it back together. So there's the relay that I took out, and then put the one from here over to here. Try not to touch it because I think it's live. And if I put this down like this again, lights are still on as before. I need that pencil again. Where I put it. So now we're expecting it to go one way and then the other. If this relay works, turn that on. Look at the motor. Does it go one way? Oh, oh weird. Okay, now it's just running properly. Okay, so now it's working. Some it seems like it's working. Um, turn it on again. So I wasn't entirely sure what this relay here did. This is live but turn that off. Wasn't sure what this relay did, but it's been removed now. You can see the little holes there where it was connected. Um I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I think one of these ones up here is does the element. So the, these ones here do the elements and this one here does the elements. So I'm gonna take a chance and put it all back together again and see see if it'll work I'll take a chance on it if it's the element then that's not working we can always do a bit more work up here on the circuit board but these relays cost about three quid online so I'll put it back together and see what happens okay so I've put it all back together again and it is live and I don't really like leaving that board dangling there but it is what it is uh, I've plugged in and it's live, I've got the motor back on, the back's all wired up again, I've got the carbon brush in there. Now if I hold that up, that's it. Now if I turn it on, okay the lights are coming on on the board. The courtesy light isn't on inside in the, door, in the cupboard, so let's close that, let's put it to here which is 20. That's flashing, so just need something to poke that with. There it is. So now it's working away. It should be getting hot eventually. So I guess I'll just watch it and check in. Wait a few minutes for it to heat up. Then the back, it's getting warm, which is good. 
So I'll just leave it run for a bit longer. So that's the contra rotate working, which is what I thought was wrong with it initially. So that's excellent. It stopped there, it was going this way, then it went that way for two seconds, and now it's going this way again, and it is heating up. Let's press pause on it. Okay, I've pressed pause there and the start light's flashing. So let's look inside it now. Bearing in mind that this is live. It's nice and warm in there. The courtesy light isn't on, but that's really the least of my worries. So we're still live and I've noticed that light is up here. So if I turn this knob up here, one click to light. Bearing in mind that the board is still live, so I don't want to touch it. Is the light on in there? I can't see it. No, I don't see that light on. So maybe that light is dead. Or it could be that I've removed the contactor that drove the light, I don't know. If it was that, I'm not too worried about it. That's the wiring for the lamp up there. So it might be that, given that that contactor was near it, I'd have to try and figure out the circuitry on that. I'm going to turn it off and put it back together, I think, and give it another go. Okay, the power is off, and I just wanted to have a think about this again. That's the wire for the lamp, and it comes to these two contacts here, which on the other side, uh, one of them goes all the way over to here, which I presume is live or neutral, and the other one just comes through to here which goes to here, which is this thing, 33 or it's a resistor, I think. That goes down to here, which goes down to here, which goes to this variable capacitor, is it VDR1? Okay, and that goes to this board here, to this trace here, which... don't know is that alive or what is it so where are we going we're going up to here and down to here don't know so this switch is lamp or lamp only I guess I'm guessing if I plug it in I'll just put the wires on I wonder is the bulb just blown that's more likely than anything else I think it's live again let's try and see this one and this one three three volts five volts it's not right yeah two 240 there so it, it is live it's just not it's just the bulb I guess okay so I don't know what that relay was doing but because let's turn it off because there are other buttons, like this button here and I think this button out here in the end, they don't actually attach to anything. So the board can do things. It can perform functions that this machine doesn't have. I don't know what they are. But uh, it's a generic board in that case. So I'm going to put it back together and uh, run it on a cycle. So it's a week or two since I found this machine. I've spent a bit of time faffing with it. I think the light's broken. We're live at the moment. Let's turn it on to intensive dry. See what happens. Lights come on. Should have shown you that there. Intensive dry. Need a pencil, such as the quirk of this machine. It's on to start. I have some damp rags in it, I've made them extra wet, so I'll just leave it until they, they, they dry and see what happens. It should be working okay. I'll come back to it when it's done. Okay, so it's come to the end. End, crease guard, so that means it'll agitate it a little bit. Empty water, which I will do. There's only... The noise you can hear there is the crease guard, so if I turn it off, 
empty water there's only a tiny amount in it not much but I did hear the pump working when it was on and then clean the filter so let's have a look in here it was just old rags that I put into it that I use in the workshop but they were damp from another washing video there's one filter a little tiny bit of it's mostly crumbs that were on the rags I'd say than anything else And then in here, there's the filter screen. A little bit of fluff there. There isn't the, this is less than a half a load, so not much. Where does that fit? Okay. Let's have a look in the condenser down below. water running out there it needs a clean you can see it's partially blocked so it needs a rinse out I might make another video on that that's not critical for today so let's summarize what I did here today and over the last few videos we've got this machine AEG lava therm 5 a 56800 it's a T56800 and the start button is missing that doesn't matter turn it on it would run for a second and then stop so I checked the motor eventually the motor would work under its own steam in both directions if you applied power directly so then I looked at the board in behind here and saw that there was one of these which is a relay or a solenoid switch that drives the motor one direction or the other so I made a presumption that that didn't work so I took it off this is the dead one and there was four of these on the board presumably two to drive the elements the two different elements and one for the motor and there was a spare one and I don't know what it does and I still don't uh, so I took the spare one off moved it across to the motor took this one out because it's dead it doesn't work and the machine worked again when I put it back together. Fixing the board. So the board was broken, but when you say the board, it's only one component on the board. Now I haven't given this a full test, and I'm probably not going to, because because this start button's missing. Like you can't you can oh you could just about reach that with your finger. It's probably not a good idea, but um you know, you could reach that with your finger, or you could build up a little thing to poke it with. The issue you have is that you can't pull you can't just put another switch there because you also need to have the plastic bit behind the switch and the switch cluster is quite a big unit and I don't know even if I can find one on the internet for sale which is a bit of a limiting factor in repairing this machine so I can't really sell it without a switch for turning it on unless I was to give it to somebody who understood the limitations of having no start switch and having to use a little stick or a pencil or something to start it every time and who didn't really mind that that's the part three pound part it's a bit of a shame when a whole machine like it's quite a big machine compared to the size of this this has got to be like one ten thousandth of the weight and volume of the, the machine and it would all fail because of one little bit this is a relay JS1B12V it's an AJS1311 and when you look up AJS1311 the variant for this one is JS1B12 uh, have a look at the board if you want have a look at the not the board the data sheet for that if you want data sheets on electronics components will tell you everything about them really all I tend to want to know is the pinout connections so this one the pinouts are actually on the back you can see there the com is the one in the bottom center here then two and five are the coil so that throws the switch when these are energized uh, it's normally open or normally closed depending on the type of one so the switch goes either switching from here to here or from here in the center at the bottom over to here and that throws the power to throw the motor from one direction to the other that's all it does so in some ways it's fixed apart from this button it's done a test load there's not much more to do other than that it seems to be working fine questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching
I appreciate a like because I like this. I think I've done a good job here. I think I learned something about switches and circuit boards and all that. And maybe you have too. Thanks for watching. See you later.